Hello! Have you ever used the argument in a discussion? I have done it always this way. Or you might have been confronted with the argument. We have done it always this way. Does this mean that is the correct way? I think it doesn't mean it. And sometimes we do something because we do not know better. And we have such a thing also in dentistry. We all were taught in dental school that you have to create a common path of insertion when we are preparing teeth for bridges, for fixed partial dentures. And of course, it makes sense when we have a diverging axis of abutment teeth that we have to create a common path of insertion when we would like to insert the bridge in a linear direction from the occlusal surface. And so generations of dentists have been taught such things. And also, when I was a university professor, I always taught my students the very same thing. But then in 2016, I learned by looking at a poster of Burr and Burr, so son and father, who had a poster where they showed that you can use, in certain cases, a rotational path of insertion so that you don't have to care about diverging axis of abutment teeth or abutments in implant cases. And I would like to show you such a situation when you have a diverging, diverging uh, axis of teeth in the direction to the lingual or to the vestibular sides then it might not really create a problem. Look here. Yeah, I have a model where you see clearly that the axis of the implants are diverging, but to the lingual or to the buccal side. And if you would like to try to insert a bridge like this, just straight, it doesn't work. But when you then rotate it a little bit, so when you see here, it rotates a little bit, you can insert it because you use a rotational path of insertion. And you see here on my left side that we have published about it internationally in the International Journal of Prosthodontics. Uh, and we published the idea which was originally um, on the poster of Burr and Burr. And on the right side, you see such a clinical case where you clearly see that we do not have parallel axis of the two abutment teeth but we could insert the bridge by this rotational path of insertion. So we do not really need a linear path. That means that in many cases where we previously have used orthodontics or we had to heavily cut and prepare the teeth to get parallel axis of the abutment teeth, we don't need to do this anymore. And we do not need any orthodontic pretreatment in such cases if we can use a rotational path of insertion. That, of course, functions only if the axes are diverging in the lingual or buccal direction, because then we don't have problems with the proximal contact surfaces of the adjacent teeth. So this concept can be used only in certain cases, of course. But, of course, it is a complete different concept as compared to always use a linear path of insertion from the occlusal surface. And that, of course, can save a lot of healthy tooth tissues which had been, which had been prepared in previous years just to get this parallel axis we do not really need. For me, it was really a very interesting thing to see that I yeah, did not understand that it is not needed to get this parallel axis and it can be compared to a screw cap of a bottle. A screw cap of a bottle you cannot insert um, on the bottle just in a linear direction. You have to rotate it a little bit. And that is a similar thing we are using in these kind of restorations when we have diverging um, axis of teeth. There is also a link under the video to the original video of Burr and Burr, where they show the concept very clear. So I hope this video is helpful for dentists, of course, to prevent them in the future 
for unnecessarily the preparation of healthy uh, tooth substance just when a parallel tooth axis between two teeth is not necessary to insert the bridge. I wish you all the best and looking forward to see you next time. Bye.